Okay, hello and welcome back everybody. This is going to be part 3 of the Vandalic Kingdom campaign. In the last part we didn't really do too much. We got attacked by the Sardinians and we have got a force over here which we've just pushed off. I really want to take this one out so they can literally piss off out of my area and we can not really have to kind of stabilise our region with the forces over here to the west. And also we're going to have to leave... Oh, a bit laggy there. This guy in east, because there's also another Sardinian guy there. Plus, we potentially can get attacked from the Eastern Roman Empire. They'll probably push through and attack these ones, these settlements. We've got the Ostrogoths here, here, and they are currently besieging Colossus, which is the Sardinian's capital, I'd assume it would be. And obviously, I assume they'll take that as well at some point. So, it's the reason why the Sardinians are trying to push me. Obviously, I've left this bit open to attack. But Hippius Darius has got some some troops they're trying to replenish. So currently we are trying to obviously sort out income and that kind of stuff. So we've got a decent income coming in at the moment. So the first thing is like I said last time, we need to sort out public order, which duh, this is gonna help out public order first off, but we can also help out with religious differences because currently in this region we've got five. Minus five, that is. Minus six, minus six, and we've got instability minus four. So it's it's affecting us at least five. It was currently at eight at some in some regions, but that has gone down. But yeah, that will help, help out public order, and then we can start building some troops up with the extra money that we're getting. Food wise, we've got plenty, so we're just going to build things up, and then potentially take on the Berbers, or if the Ostrogoths fuck off, we can take out Sardinians. Also, research-wise, we are getting this one so we can get some yellow buildings or upgrade them. And then I'm going to go back to the military route, which was this one, so we can get some better horsemen. Vandal Raiders, mount mounted warbands, sorry, horsemen, mounted brigands, noble horsemen, etc, etc. So we'll go back to that one after that we've done this. We can repair this as well at some point. So we're going to end the turn. Oh, my... Today has been a very hot day in England, and I can't have my fan on while I'm recording, so it's even hotter. But if you hear anything in the background, it's a fan from the computer, not an actual fan to cool me down. So it's really stuffy in my room. It's the only thing about this time of year, it's really hard to record anything because it's just hot and sweaty, you can't be bothered, and obviously, like I said, I can't have the fan on, so I can't even cool myself down. Okay, we've got some quarry, so that's helped out of our money. We might as well save, unless we can repair this, 729. I think we'll save it this time, because I want to do one of the purple buildings, and then we've got this now. So we're going to go to this route, so we can get some better horses. We're going to get some better ships as well, which would be good. Because that's the thing with this campaign, we're going to have to have a decent naval contingent, which we don't actually have at the moment. Um, what can we go for? Corruption for government province is good. And then we'll go with this route so we get mor morale, defence and stuff like that. And then we can move on to stuff like this. Govern province, food for characters, fatigue rate. And obviously the big boy, that one. So that's how about corruption. Very, very nice, very nice. And they have moved off, so. We'll move him back. So at least... over here because we want to spy in case we attack the Berbers but I think we'll just wait up, get our money and then we can do the public order buildings in this province we'll do that that will get some extra food but we've got enough food as it is so we'll do that for next term our money's increasing in the industrial building that we've just done and like I said I think we might be more beneficial to actually get a fleet than anything else we can leave that a Hippio Diarius if you want to call it that but we'll leave it at that settlement. The Sardinians are going to get whittled down at some point, so we need to build ourselves up ready to attack the Berbers or somebody else. Disease outbreak. So that's that one. We've got some money left over. We might be able to do, repair that building. Yeah, it's gone down now in price, so let's repair that. And I may actually get a general for fleet. Okay, we don't have enough money for that, so we have to wait. Unsign skill, government province, and then we do the same thing there, and we can do personal infants. 
uh, do the same thing for these two. So that's going to help out with corruption levels. Let's see what they look like in a minute. So that means we've got rank up then. Okay, he can go there. 14, 15, 14. Okay, he doesn't have an air yet, so we may put it under 7 influence, 9 influence. He hasn't got a child there. He's the only one with children. Let's make him the heir of the Empire. Arguments is the heir nominated. This man has been to care of your heir and was sent to the throne upon your passing. So we can pass that on because he's actually the only child we've got in the, the Empire. But yeah, I think building up for me can start building some troops up. We'll get the research in so we can get some better fleet units and obviously some better horses as well. And gradually build ourselves up, ready to get full army stacks, and then we can start pushing out. And if you have not done so already, the video will be out as of yesterday or a few days ago. Check out the mod I have got for this campaign, well basically DLC campaign. Basically it's the same as the previous video I've done, the expanded campaign which is for the vanilla Total War. Uh, but this just does us faction unlocks for this campaign, for the DLC itself. Okay, that's building at the moment. Might as well wait because we haven't got anything here. Might as well do the same thing, 3800. we we'll do that on the next turn. Uh, we can also do some sanitation for this region, which would be good, because them two buildings are quite low, which also, in turn, we can do this so we can get some extra money from the resource. So we've got a few things we can build. What's that? Oh. Hello. That's a bit... A bit tasty, their faction leader. It's improving, supposedly, though. I am sure you have many pleasantries. They've only got one settlement, supposedly, now. That means they have been taken out. Okay, the Ostrogoths have got that now, so the Sardinians are only on the Colossus, which is still being besieged. So they should be taken out soon. They've moved the force up to there as well, so... We've got money actually, so I'm going to build my fleet in Carthage. Search rate. I think that might be a good one actually. Ram ships, we've got light melee, light bow ship, light artillery, and then we've got Greek fire. Very, very good. But like I said, we'll probably just leave them for the meanwhile. I want to save some money before we start getting any units. But they did move that force in, so it's got to be careful. If they do do anything, we could probably build a couple ships just to help out with the garrison at Carthage itself. Yes, they're trying to besiege it now. Enemy military investment. Attack! Oh, okay, that's just the one ship, so we might as well wear ourselves out. I thought that's that. That's a bit weird. Because uh, obviously, they've got the army stack that's attacking. That's, that. that's a bit weird. Those stats for that. I was going to say we did battle for it. Waiting for a new course. Warriors all. Kill them all. Okay, might as well go into battle for this one. Uh, what we're dealing with one axe, one slinger, three of the warhounds, and obviously the general's a horse as well. Same with ours, three spears, axe, two. Okay, cool. 
It's a quick save. Let's finish off this little Sardinian force and we move these guys back to Carthage. Uh, Warhounds we've got to worry about a little bit, but um, we've got three cavalry. They've only got one, so they'll help us out. Obviously, they'll send the Warhounds against my cav, but we might send some spearmen into them or something, or the axemen. We'll have to see. I'll try and get my archers to whittle down their axemen and then potentially one of my cavalry to take out their slinger as well. And the other two could like deal with the Warhounds, maybe, if they don't get too scared. But my golly, it's hot. Definitely. That's probably why I haven't been able to live stream recently because it's just been a lot of that going on. Because otherwise, you have to see me in my boxes for a live stream, and it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dry weather. Fighting in the desert. Might as well stick them two together. General on his own. Doesn't matter a particular formation at the moment. Oh, he's even got friends as well, the general and um, wedge formation. Woof, 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 woof. And the shields are pretty cool, though, I like that. Yeah, I like the uh, the skins of the shields of that, that's pretty cool. Oh, he's got basic ones. That's a, is he general? We don't want to knock our guys out, let them rest for a bit, and then we start pushing up again after that. See what our guys look like. They've changed them as well. I doubt it. Probably just put different colours on them. It's where they're in the desert and stuff. I like colours. Yeah, like greens and yellows and stuff like that. Okay, okay cool. Let's start moving our guys up. They've probably rested for a bit now. Sure. Okay, let's get him in the mix now. Do their war dogs. Missiles ready. Loose. Gotcha. Bearman. Okay, let's get him. Okay, war dogs are coming out. Okay, let's get these in. Oh god, these war dogs are doing some damage. Oh, 
weapons and are fleeing. Okay, let's fight him. Let's get our general in as well. He's gonna have to do some damage against him. Let's go into these with our general. Then the key thing with that one is to get the charge off with the um, my horse unit into their axes and warhounds because obviously with that. They were starting to route some of my units. This is not very good, was it? Overall, we've done pretty good. Horses 171, 14, <laughs> not as good on that one. 60, 60s. Uh, their general done the best, and so did obviously. Their warhounds done pretty good. They were the MVPs. Axe is self expansion, you're going to get like 80 odd kills. So we took more losses than we should have, to be perfectly honest. But a little quick battle, and obviously, we've wiped out that small force, so hopefully, they won't leave us alone now. Oh, we lost a spear unit on that. Ready for further orders. Fair deedles. Father be brave. How can I help? What was the point in that? One slinger unit. You think they just get wiped out, wouldn't you? Silly game sometimes, aren't you? Okay, let's move him back. Warriors all. Might as well leave him there. We've got to repair this, obviously. But it's only small amount of repair. Okay, three eight hundred. What well, one needed it more? If we do need that province. I think it's only that province anyway. So that goes first. We can also do land as well at some point, so we can build that up. Let's increase these. And traditions, let's have a look what we got. Public order for the province would be good. For the meanwhile, and then we have the fleet as well, which would just be standard. Let's try and get this public order sorted out and we can start doing some stuff with it. Okay, that's that Sardinian force. We also worry about these guys over here as well. Money, I don't think we do. Got enough horses already. Could do with another spear spear unit. It's only basic though. Maybe another slinger. Let's do that for the meanwhile. Let's buy one of them. If we're defending, that would be pretty good. Because I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing. If it keeps improving, 
then they may not be a threat to the Berbers, but just be on the safe side. They're in my territory, which is a bit weird. Maybe they're just looping around, I do not know, but... Physic of Kingdom and the Burgundians. Uh, can we improve... Okay, what should we build up, if we can build up anything? Let's do this building here, and we can... Oh, we can actually do public order for this as well. Even though we have a public order building there. Industry, we've got industry on that one. Resources on this. Uh, may do another yellow building. Hmm, hope we do that. I think we'll go yellow building for the meanwhile. We need to upgrade this for sanitation at some point as well. And we could do one of the sanitation buildings over here. On the next turn we'll do that one. Because obviously we can increase these two buildings and then we can start increasing other stuff as well after that. This would be pretty good. We can get some Lancers, Moorish Cavalry and Dramatic Crossbowmen. Which would be definitely one, because Carthage is going to try and be our hub, if you can, for troops, for for naval and military. For the meanwhile, I'd rather do it in one settlement or province. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best bet. So, let's keep increasing this money. And trying to sort out this public order. Then we can start shifting some troops around. Put them in regions that we need them to be, or obviously we can move a couple out without having to defend anywhere. Okay, let's increase that now, which is pretty good. So like I said, let's do sanitation. And get some growth as well, so we can start getting these top tier buildings. And the next one we'll probably try and do, might be a little bit off, we'll try and build this one up, because we've got enough food, we've got loads. Okay, they're actually raiding us. Separatists. But we've got a few things on the go, so this can be better for us. But yeah, this part is probably not going to be as many battles. This is probably just more going to be like building things up, getting our empire to be a little bit more secure, and then we can take out the Berbers because them raiding us and being close to us. Uh, I don't want them to be attacking me. Not like that. We can go over that for more public order, and we get 300 culture, or we can go for. This one gets us a little bit more money. Industrial buildings. We've got a industrial building here. So that may be beneficial. Squalor goes down to two though. So if we've got anything for sanitation. We've got that. We can't do anything else at the moment. Minus one. I think we could probably get away with it. Because or food consumption. Hmm. Money wise is the only way we can do it at the moment anyways. Uh, 2700. Let's do the build. Uh, saying that. Let's do this building first. Let's do that first. We can get some better troops in. Start stockpiling this up. We can move a few of the armies back and build a few them up as well at the same time. But yeah, not having that. Oh, we've got full armies, 16 stack. We've got 15, and then what's our garrison here? Tibasa. Tibasa. Now we've got a few. They're a bit weak, so we need to build them up. Uh, let's check diplomacy. Is it improving or is it getting worse? Suppose it's improving. Be welcome, emissary. <laughs> My time is better spent feasting and hunting. Okay, if we can get a piece of them, we may do. That'll help us out the relations with the Berbers, but. Yeah, food-wise, this is quite a, a right up region, so we'd have to really worry about that. This is probably a good start, uh, starting point for the Vandals. If you do want to play a campaign as them, you've got huge food surplus. You just obviously need to deal with public order first, and then try and get some money in, in terms of office. His loyalty is quite low, so...
The security is likely why we are doing that. Okay, let's sort a few things out there. Public order is very is going up quite a lot actually. Um, squad of public order. The squad doesn't matter in this building type. Recruitment cost for five percent for land units. That's pretty good. Because uh, if we're going to make Carthage our one as well, our you know main hub for the food food production for troop production, that's going to be pretty good. And we can do one plus one for the armies as well because we've got the toolmaker. So let's increase that. Okay, we're going to get a few things now, which is good. Public order's gone up there, 13. We need to increase this at some point. So the next building will be this one. We can get some better sanitation. We get some better food. And then we can increase other buildings. We can increase that as well. Public order. That will get us some more stuff as well, which would be money-wise. So we can increase that. That would be pretty good. So yeah, we'll sort out sanitation. So yeah, I think this region is the one we need to sort out the most. Sorry, this one we'll increase at the moment. Try and get that built up. And we'll increase these things as well. So we get some better garrisons. Again, for that, there's a few ones knocking about. This one, 100% will build up. So yeah, we've got a few things to build. So let's increase our money first, and then we can start doing better garrisons and shit. Which inevitably, it will also help out. We've got enough food to do them buildings as well, so that's not a problem. And then we can start focusing in on our army. By that time, we should probably get the other things in. Okay. Let's save our money. Water tank. Plus, we've got so many of these buildings, we can actually get more food, so it's not really going to be a problem. They're all like tier 1s at the moment. Money's gone up a huge chunk, though, which is good. Uh, we're going to get better ships from that, and then in 7 turns. Yeah, so by the time we've built things up by 7 turns, we can increase the horses we've got. Definitely ones near where the Berbers are. We'll increase them first of all, and then we start thinking about the other guys. Because we're going to get quite a bit of money now. Waving loyalty, let's try and secure loyalty with him. Oh, we've got loads of money. Yeah, okay. Got two of them, so next one will be that. 285, we can do that on the next one. By the time it's been built, that thing will have gone up anyway, so it will outweigh it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I apologize if I'm spamming Sam's on this one, but we're in a good place now. We've got quite a bit of money coming in, so we can start increasing, and then we shall attack. And the Berbers are actually taking advantage of the Visigoths, so they're attacking them. Climate change? Ashen Squires. During this year, a most dread portent took place. For the sun gave forth its light without brightness, and it seemed exceedingly like the sun in eclipse. For the beams it shed were not clear. Pro Procopius. Dark times are upon us. The earth is withered and blackened. The crops have failed, and the, the priests... Oh, shit. Priests speak of damnation. Has the Lord forsaken his kingdom? As you can just see, we've got two food, so maybe that wasn't a good thing. Okay, chapter one, Oz by Nights. We've got money now, so I'm going to just increase our food production. Hard-won victories are threatened by the baleful and desperate eyes of the past. The leaguered emperor sends his men to reclaim his foregone empire. They will find only failure against this new kingdom. Bonus objectives complete, one of five. Time marches on. We have achieved much, but our people face ever-increasing odds. So mission issued. An Ashen Sky. Okay, that's the thing we just had. Survive, we get 2,000. Okay, so yeah, we're actually going to have to do some food now. Okay. Let's hope they're all done in time. And look at 
it's actually made the campaign map all like muggy and dark and stuff like that, so let's see how long it's lasts for. Okay. Let's save the rest. You can sign a provisional governor. Let's do food production for the meanwhile, I think. Because we're going to need it, aren't we? But this is uh, what they said in the video for it. This Basically, there was like a massive volcano eruption, which obviously affected things. Waving loyalty again. Give oh, we don't want him to get married to her. Oh, we can't intervene either, so we've got to give Bess in. Not so good. Okay, we can increase that. Okay, we've got some stuff going now. Okay, toolmaker. They're still raiding. Ready for orders. He's low, he's free. Let's see. He's down there. Okay, we don't want him to rebel though. Warriors all. Yeah, that's obviously put a kicker in it, but it won't stay like forever. It's probably like for 20 turns, the food will go down or something. So obviously I've got to build them up. So take that in your shrine. Okay, that's gone up now, which is good. Lottie secured. You've got a shrine. We get some extra food from this 50, so we may as well do that. We're going to get some food now anyway, so it's not a problem, but let's just boost it back up while we can. Okay, we can't increase that yet. We may try and do this one after we've done that. Because I want to get the... Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that one after this in two turns. Let's try and increase these things so we get more sanitation. Because even after that, it's gone quite low. Okay, food's gone up tenfold now, which is really good. Uh, sanitation, we can't really do that. So, 30. We can, we can increase that, get some more public order. Get some more money, so okay. We're gonna start doing some troops in a minute. Oh, that's gone way down. Squatter, food, minimal husbandry. Hmm. Bubonic Plague, minus six, interrupts unit repression, stops original growth. Oh, that's a lot of... And we're getting raided there as well, which doesn't help. Yeah, disease doesn't help, religious differences, taxes, difficulty level. So we need to have words with them in a minute. If not, we may actually attack them once I build some stuff up. Yeah, it's that region. Okay. We'll start moving some things over in a minute. Let's start building some troops up the next turn or so.
that may help. Let's increase that actually. Because I'll get some better garrison units for that town as well. Yeah. Okay. One more turn and we can increase these. Oh, I've got character trait. Okay. Some food from characters. Public order. Food production. More money. Okay. Seventeen, so they're increasing now. How can I help? Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Let's get another spear unit just in case. But yeah, I'm thinking we may push up and we'll start taking out the Berbers. We need to get rid of them raiding first off. The Moors are coming. When the Romans landed in Africa, they tried to pay the Moors off with trinkets, a gilded silver staff and a silver crown, a white cloak, a white tunic and a gilded boot. The Moors watched as trespassers fought over their ancestral lands, biding their time waiting for a moment of weakness. Now the moment has arrived and the Moors have right risen as one to reclaim the birthright. This has scaled the coast like a desert wind, purging every last trace of his oppression that has befallen them for so long. Okay, we got that. Okay, that's the Moors. Oh god. We've got two full army stacks and they're gonna try and reclaim their settlements. Sanitation. Let's go for that. Yeah, we definitely need to build some troops now. Jesus Christ. Faction encountered the Moors. Let's see what they're like with us. They fucking hate us. Okay. Ready for battle. Fight with us. It's a good life. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Death in battle? There is no finer ending. What have we got so far? Noble Van. Oh, we actually got the top tier ones. Okay. What else can we get? Germanic Lancers, Light Moorish Cavalry. These are probably the best ones. Medium Cav. Yeah. Okay, let's build them up first and we can start moving the other guys over because obviously they're going to probably attack. Let's move them down to there just in case they do anything. Ready for orders. Let's increase that dude. And we'll move him over to here. Because there's one chap there at the moment. Okay, we can move him to there. See what units we can actually build. Uh, we can still build him over, over on that side anyway. So let's move him down to there. Once that's built up, we'll move him across. We're leaving ourselves open in that di direction, but I just want to cover myself. Uh, here, the Berbers, we can't leave at all. So, we're going to have to start building another army stack Hippias at some point. So, start building a few things up. Okay. Money's going to go down quite a bit, though, from that army stack of Carthage, but that, they're the ones that are definitely going to go over. Or we'll just swap them over with these smaller units. We need to protect Carthage as well from anyone else. The Moors may attack the Berbers though, so we'll see what happens. They may just move off. But let's just have a contingency plan for in case. Yeah, it's gone down quite a bit. Okay, they have decayed ward on us. But at the same time they have moved off. Okay. Yeah, let's get him over there. That's someone that's open to attack.
Five, two, three. Oh, my God, they cost a lot of money. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can uh, afford to increase anything else after this. Yeah, with these last three. But we'll move this guy straight over. He can sit at Citra. And we're just going to try and sort a few things out. And I'll build a general here. And he can sit at Carthage. He can move back to there as well if need be. And so they can rotate round. But yeah, the Moors are the, the, the next faction we need to take out. Let's see if what they do if they attack us. And then obviously we're going to attack the Berbers. I think after these units, we need to start doing more infrastructure because we need to get some more money in. Because it's gone down quite a bit. I didn't realise it cost that much. I shouldn't have uh, upgraded them to uh, last horse units. Because thinking about it, I haven't done the ones in the west yet. We're next to the Berbers. They should have been done first. Okay, they've taken Carthage over and they've moved off now. Okay, now we've been attacked. We've got two Moorish factions attacking. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to leave this for the next battle. Well, next video. I'm going to quick save it. I hope you enjoyed this part. Now we've got the, the big daddy, big daddy-o's. We're going to try and kill as much as we can out of these units. Obviously, very, very high stacked. They've got a lot of skirmishers, two melees by the looks of things, five skirmish units, land units, five swords, four spears, and then just rinse and repeat. Same thing on here. So we've got two full army stacks. But we're going to try and kill as much as we can. Unfortunately, our faction leader is here as well, so if he dies, it's going to be a bummer. But we do have a faction there at least, so we can try and deal with it. And then we'll send in the guys from Carthage, they can move over on the other units. We can at least take it back, but this is the Moorish threat. Once we've taken these two full army stacks, they'll be gone, and then we can build up again and then attack the Berbers. But I hope you enjoyed this part, and we've got a big battle for the next part, for part four. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.